I'm always in pain too, and then that really adds to um, the anger in our music. It really does. I'm kind of grateful for it in a way. Tell me, I have to ask this really. What happened with the, with the gun thing that was just bought? Was that all bullshit? Oh, yeah. Total bullshit. That was God. That, that that's another thing that just made me want to just give up. Mm-hmm. Just just you know, a couple of weeks ago, never choked my wife. You know, and in every report, even in Rolling Stone, you know, it, in the police report, for some reason, I've seen a copy of the police report, and Courtney was wearing a choker. Yeah, you know what those you know yeah. what those are. I ripped it off of her, and it turned out in the police report that I choked her. And we weren't even fighting. We weren't even arguing. But we're playing the music too loud, and the neighbors complained. They called the police on us. It was the first time they'd ever complained, because we'd been practicing in the house for a long time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> The police were really nice about yeah. it, though. To tell you the truth, I couldn't believe it. See, there's this new law mm-hmm. passed that month. It just happened to be passed that month in, in Seattle, where... It, when there's a domestic violence call, they have to take one or the other to jail. Yeah. So Courtney and I started, the only argument we got into was who was going to go to jail, you know, for a few hours. And they asked us, just out of the blue, are there any guns in the house? And I said no, because I didn't want them to know there were guns in the house. So the yeah, although they're, when, you're, when, when the name's complaining. Yeah. 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 And um, I have a M16 and, and two handguns. Yeah. And they're put away. There are no bullets in them. They're up in the closet, you know. And they took them away. I, I, I can take. I can get them back now. I haven't bothered to get them back yet. But it was all just a, a ridiculous little situation. It was nothing. And again, it's come up in, in the press. And, and it's come up in totally, yes. you know, blown out of proportion. That must be the hardest thing to deal with. It's just like I feel like I'm. You know, I almost feel like people don't believe me, like I, I'm a pathological liar at times, you know, because I'm constantly defending myself, you know. I mean, people still haven't evolved enough to question anything that's, that's printed, you know. Even I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really bad at that, too. I, I believe a lot of things that I read. But you do... You must behave badly sometimes. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Courtney and I fight. We we argue a lot. But um, I've never choked my wife. I mean, it's an awful fucking thing to be printed and to be known for. You know. Yes. I just uh, you know. We haven't had any problems, any bad reports, or any negative articles written about us in a long time, and. We thought we were finally over it, you know. Our, our curse had worn itself out. Well, I think it must be because people perceived also because people perceived you as a threat. Yeah, I think Courtney's more of a threat than I am. Yes, but I bet your success was a threat to people. Yeah, it was a threat to the metal bands. 